A living building is a building that seeks to give back more to people and planet than it takes. You see these One of the most obvious features of the building is, of course, our beautiful solar canopy. And that canopy does help us get over the top. The building itself is very efficient. And then the on-site renewable electricity we generate gets this building to generate almost 225% more electricity each year than it consumes. Everybody wants to know about the toilets in the Candida building, which is why we say there's a lot of potty talk in the Candida building. Our toilets are foam flush toilets. And what that means is that of the 16 toilets and urinals we have, they combined use less water than one low flush toilet. And when you do your business here at the Candida building and leave, your business stays. We compost bio waste on site. One of the requirements of the Living Building Challenge is to have urban agriculture. And the way we satisfy the urban agriculture requirement is with blueberries, seasonal vegetables, and fruits, but also rooftop bees. That's right, we have honeybees on our site. So all the pollinating plants that are here count towards the urban agriculture requirement because they, of course, provide food for the honeybees. Prior to this building, most fully certified living buildings were in the Pacific Northwest or the Northeast, parts of the world that have a substantially different climate than the hot, humid Southeast. So it's a big honor to make this announcement on Earth Day, and we hope that it serves as a beacon, a challenge to our peer institutions, and quite frankly, everybody in the world. If we can do this in Atlanta, Georgia, in the hot, humid South, we can do it anywhere.